Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make inner cove. So previously, I made this video on how to make suspension ceiling in Dialog Cebu and add cove light to it. So in this video, I showed you how to make the outer cove and after I made this video, I got so many comments on YouTube and LinkedIn and Instagram where so many of you have asked me to make inner coves and different ceiling designs. So I thought of making a inner cove today. So let's go and check some images for inner cove light. Okay. So basically this is an example of inner cove light. Where we have the ceiling on the four sides and here inside LED strip is placed. So, so we will refer this image as a reference. We'll go back to the dialogues. So as you see I have made a simple model of a living room and there are two living rooms. First one and second one and both are identical to each other. If you look at the furniture and everything. All are both are identical so I made this identical because in this uh, in this tutorial of how to make inner cove light I'm going to show you two methods in which you are, you can do it so um, out of these two methods you can you can follow any of them which you feel is easy and one more thing if you want to know how I just you know made this room identical same as this one then let me know in the comments below and if you're interested then I will make a tutorial on this one also okay so let's get started okay so I don't have any false ceiling layout here nor I have any AutoCAD file so we'll go to the reference lines and draw some reference grid okay i will just make it 0.4 and 0.4 so this will be my method one here i will be doing my method one and here will be my method two so in the method one we have drawn the reference lines which is of 0.4 and 0.4 length and width so once this is ready go to the ceilings okay make sure your drawing is in story mode okay so once you're in story mode you can see here these two options appear Ceil insert ceiling into the room and draw new ceiling so our first so our first step here would be draw new ceiling into the room okay i'm going to start from here watch the steps closely okay second point here third point here fourth point here and i'm going to just close this ceiling okay and then right click and close polygon so you can see here my so my ceiling with C shaped is is done but I want it to be of for all four corners so what I will do is select again draw your ceiling make sure you choose it from this end place one point second point and then just close it okay close polygon and your ceiling is ready so I have drawn for all four sides okay let's go and check in the 3d view okay this was my C shaped and this is bit down no worries we can adjust the height so this is will make it 2.7 meters you can change it here distance from the shelf floor sorry distance from the shelf floor 2.7 you can make this one also as 2.7 meters enter now you can see my ceiling is ready but I don't have a gap to place my 
of light for that one what i'm going to do is just select this one okay so select this one and in the close sides side offset make it as 0.1 meter and now you can see here i have some place where i can keep my cove light right same way you're going to do for this one select it make sure this close sides is checked and then make it 0.1 meters enter and here you go my ceiling for inner cove is ready okay we'll just add some color to it so let me make this ceiling with 80 percent of reflection factor i'm just going to replace the material and yes my ceiling is ready so once your ceiling is ready go back to your plan view go to the lights and select your flexible strip or IES for cove light okay so if you want the IES file so if you want the IES for the cove light uh, just watch my this video on how to make suspended ceiling uh, in this video I have even shown where you can go and download the IES files okay so let's go back I have my IES file I'm, I'm going to draw a line arrangement just take the starting point end point okay then define the number of luminaires so here let me make it 10 okay so you have to place the numbers of luminaires here such that there is no gap between these two luminaires okay you can have the gap between the luminaires but sometimes what happens is once you do the calculation part it shows that dot dot dots so if you don't want to have dot 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 effect then make it a continuous light so like this we'll just go and check in the side view okay our light is here we'll just move it upward and just rotate it such that it hits the such that the light output hits the ceiling and place it so you can see so you can see here I have applied the scope light here so once you have finished on the one side just copy this one and arrange it on the other side just like this go to the section view and rotate it properly and adjust if required so I have placed cove light here and at this end so two sides it's finished I want to make it here and here either you can copy it the same way or you can draw it so so let's just draw it okay start from here and end it here make sure no gaps in between go to the side view Let's copy this one. Control C, Control V. And move it on the other end. Go to the side views and rotate it. So you can see here I have placed my LED strips on all the four sides and 
to off the layer of the reference lens go to go here and just click on this one so let's check the cct of uh, this one okay so it's 1.7 watts 200 lumens and 3000 kelvin so that's fine for this one let's now do the calculation go to the calculation objects and run entire project so here it is we have finished the calculation and you can see the cove f cove light effect we have the inner cove ready you can see this this looks totally nice so you can just save the view and rate it rate race it so this was the method one on how to make inner cove and we are going to make inner cove method two for this living room now so before doing it let's just go and save the view for this one okay save new view and it is saved okay so now we are going to do the method 2 before going before doing it we need to cancel the calculation so calculation objects and cancel it so this is my that second living room okay go to the plan view construction and ceilings in this method what you need to do is uh, in the previous method we used the option of draw new ceiling and we drawn the c shape first then l shape and finally we got a square shape uh, so guys in the method to first select the ceiling and then insert ceiling into the room okay so for this one so for this one you can define the distance of the shelf floor that is the height of the ceiling from the floor i will keep it as 2.8 meters okay so we have a ceiling but we need to have some opening where we can place our inner cove so we'll go to the cutouts rectangular cutout and first draw an imaginary rectangle you can go to the plan view and adjust the cutout here i don't have autocad file so i am using this reference lines okay so I have made this cutout. You can see my ceiling is void means it is hollow. There is no thickness. So just select this one and here in the ceiling thickness increase it to 0.2 meters. And you can see I have some thickness now. Okay. Done. Then go to the cutout again. Select this cutout and limit this cutting depth to. 0.1 meters okay so we have made the cutout okay um, it represents the ceiling also but there is no place where we can keep our cove light okay so for that one watch the next step very carefully select the cutout again rectangular cutout and draw an imaginary cutout Go to the plan view and adjust the cutout such that it is slightly bigger than your first cutout. This is basically the place where you are going to keep your LED strip. So my first cutout was starting from here and my second cutout I have left some 0.1 meter gap. Okay, my second cutout is ready. For this one also, you are going to limit cutting depth 
and make it as 0.4 meters. I have some place where I can keep the LED strip. I will show you in the plan view. This one. So, but this is too much thick. You know, in our AutoCAD file, when we see it is slightly dropping and thickness is very small. For that one, we'll just go to the 3D model again. Select our second cutout. Come to the sectional view. Select this one and bring it down. Okay, bring it down as to decrease the thickness of this ceiling. So it depends upon you how much you need. So I need it this much is fine. Okay, fine. I'll go and check. And you can see here I have got a ceiling where I have a place to keep my LED strip. Check in the side view. This is my ceiling. Right? So now we'll just add some texture. Mm, let me keep it as a white color with 80% reflection factor. We'll just replace it. Go to the side view. So make the reference lines invisible. So in this method one, I have already placed the LED strip. I'm going to copy the same LED strip over here. finished copying my LED strips you can either do a line arrangement or something I'll go and check in the 3d view okay my LED strips have been placed properly yeah I'll just zoom out so this is the method one and this is the method two so this is a method one and this is a method two we'll just calculate So my calculation is completed, we will go and check the results, you can see here. This is the output from my method 2 and this is the output I got from method 1, both are similar. In this the ceiling is bit lower and this one ceiling is bit up, okay. But anyway the process is same, the output looks same. So it's up to you, whichever you feel easy, you can just follow it. Method 1 or method 2. So guys, this is it in this video. Okay, for the ceiling designs and the cove light, I'm going to make one playlist, okay, where you can find inner cove, outer cove. And in coming days, I'm going to make circular cove circular fall ceiling then different designs fall ceiling if you want any type of fall ceiling you just uh, you can just ping me on youtube linkedin or instagram you can share me the reference images and i will make a tutorial on it uh, i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel to explore more dialogues with me thank you